gentlemen. Due to this disturbance, we will have a short break before we resume. Please help yourself with tea and coffee. Thank you. You should have never let him in. I didn't know who he was. He said he was a stinger from the Wall Street journalist. Well, this is more like it. I haven't seen so much excitement since Alan Daring from the Daily Investor stood up at a <clears throat> Provident Insurance press conference and told everyone he was becoming a woman and wanted us all to call him Andrea. Hi, I like his friend. Very entertaining. I know, isn't he cool? So listen, have you applied for any jobs recently? Because I saw one to a new woman the other day in the media garden and I meant to leave you. It said it was essential to have experience in a consumer town, but I thought you could say that you know what job I'm going for. What? Uh, not that fun manager job. Well, was serious, but just, that was just a bargain, so I took it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would like to resume your seats. I'm sorry, but I can't go and sit back down there. I have to hear about this. Come on, we don't need to stay here. We've got our press bags. Let's go and have lunch. She's deserting me. I won't have anyone to play with anymore. And how can she? She wanted to be beauty editor on Mary Claire, for God's sake. So, what decided you? Oh, I don't know. I just kept thinking, where am I going? You know, I keep applying for all these glam job interviews in fashion magazines. and never even get an interview. You would have got one eventually. I know you would. Maybe or maybe not. And in the meantime, I'm running this all about this boring financial stuff. So suddenly I thought, why not just sod it and do other financial stuff? At least I'll have a proper career. You were in a proper career. No, I wasn't. I was hopeless. I was paddling around with no aim, no game plan, no prospects. I mean, I was quite different from you. You're much more sorted out than I was. Sorted out? Is she joking? So, when do you start? I feel a bit thrown by all of this. I don't have a game plan. I don't have prospects. Maybe I'm hopeless too. Maybe I should rethink my career. Oh god, this is depressing. Next week, I'm going to base a Silk Street office. Oh, right. And I've had to buy loads of new clothes. Us? They're all pretty smart about these. New clothes? New clothes? Right now, I really am jealous. I went to Karen Millen and basically bought it all out. I spent around thousand quid. Blimey, thousand quid all at once? Well, I had to, and anyway, I'm doing way more. Really? Oh yes, lots more. Like how much? I'm starting off on forty grand, and after that, who knows? Uh, what they said is, and then she starts talking about career structures and ladders and bonuses, but I can't hear a word. I'm too shell shocked. 40 grand, 40 grand, but I only earn, actually, should I be telling you how much I earn? <clears throat> Isn't it one of those things like religion you're not supposed to mention in polite company? Or maybe we're all allowed to talk about money these days. Seals would know. Oh well, so did. You know everything else, don't you? The truth is, I only earn 21,000 pounds, and I thought that was a lot. I remember when I thought, when I went from 18,000 to 21,000 and I thought I made a big time. I was so excited. I used to write endless list of things I would buy with all the extra money. But now it sounds like nothing. I should be earning 40 grand, like Ellie. I should be buying all my clothes from Kara Millen. Oh, it's not fair. My life's a complete disaster. I feel pretty morose. Maybe I should give up journalism and become a fund manager too, or a merchant banker. They earn a pretty good rack, don't they? Or maybe I could join Goldman Sachs or something. They earn about a million a year, don't they? God, that would be amazing. I wonder how you get a job like that. But on the other hand, do I really want to be a banker? I want to buy the clothes from Karen Millen part of it. In fact, I think I do that pretty well. But I'm not so sure about the rest. 
the getting up early and working hideously hard part. It's not that I'm lazy or anything, but I quite like the fact that I can spend the afternoon at an image store or flick through the papers pretending I'm doing research and no one gives me a hard time. It doesn't sound as if Ali will be doing that much of that in her new job. It doesn't sound as if it's fun or anything. And aren't bankers rather humorless? Well, their press conferences certainly are. And imagine working with them. It all sounds quite scary. Why on earth haven't I thought of this before? It's pure genius. I'll get a Saturday job. I'll work in a clothes shop. That way, I'll make all the extra money and I'll get a discount on all the clothes. And let's be real. Working in a clothes shop has to be more fun than becoming a banker, hasn't it? This way, I can pick up all my own clothes as I help out the customers. I'll basically be getting paid to go shopping. It's bloody fantastic. Yes, Rebecca Bloomwood here. Mrs. Bloomwood, this is Diana Smith from Edwidge Bank. Hello, are you okay? Yes, yes, fine. Hi, sorry about that. The thing is, I've been quite busy with something else. You know how it is. Mrs. Bloomville, I've been reading you several letters, and to know of the letters, I had the response. I've been very busy, I'm afraid. Uh, my, my aunt was very ill. I had to go and be with her. I see. Never least. And then she died. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that. But that doesn't alter the fact that your current account stands in the balance of Has this man got no heart? And if the situation is not resolved, I'm afraid it will be forced to... It's okay. It's okay because I'm coming into some money soon. Oh, yes? Yes, the thing is my... My aunt left me some money in her will. I'll get it in a couple of weeks. A thousand pounds. You're saying that in two weeks' time, you will be paying a check for a thousand pounds in your account? Um, yes, I suppose I am. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I've made a note of our conversation, Mrs. Bloomville, and I'll be expecting the arrival of a thousand pounds into your account on Monday, 26th March. Good. Is that it? Uh, for the moment, goodbye, Mrs. Bloomberg. Goodbye. By the time Friday arrives, I feel a lot more cheerful. This is primarily because, one, it's Friday. Two, I'm spending all day out of the office. Three, Ellie phoned yesterday saying she was sorry she was so abrupt. But someone else came into the office just as we were talking. Plus, I put the Luke Brandon incident off my mind. Who cares about him anyway? Hi, welcome. Thank you. Normally, the rule is to throw away our name badge, but the great thing about being present at one of these events is that people fall over themselves to play with free stuff. Some of it is just boring leaflets with saving plans, but some give out free gifts and snacks too. But after an hour here, I've accumulated two pens, a paper knife, a mini box of Ferrero Rocher chocolates, a helium balloon with Save and Prosper on the side, and a t-shirt sponsored by some mobile phone company. A pound of chocolate, uh, some apple cider from Somerset Savings, a mini pack of Smarties, and my pins from Sun Alliance. I haven't written a single note in my notebook, or ask a single question, but never mind. Becky! Hi, how are you? Fine, really, I'm really getting along well. God, I can't believe you're actually one of them. I'll be interviewing you next. So, Ms. Granger, what are the aims and principles of Weatherby's investment? Well, I'll give you this. Thank you. It's actually quite exciting time in Weatherby's. We're, you know we're launching a whole new range of funds, isn't it? There are five altogether. UK Growth, UK Prospects, European Growth, European Prospects, and LE and US Growth. Well, that 
that sounds fab. I could arrange for other people to give a talk. Uh, if you like. Do you want to more? No, no, it's okay. Um, what are you doing afterwards? Are you free for a drink? No, can you do a um, I'm going to look at a flat. I live in the coolest flat in Camden with two guys who are in a band. They get her into lots of free gigs and stuff. I don't, I can't think why she wants to move. Actually, I'm buying. I'm looking on Stedham to say, just want to get on first regular property letter. Right. Good idea. You should do it yourself, you know, but you, you can hang around with student flat forever. Real life has to begin somehow. It's not a student flat. And anyway, who defines real life? Who says real life is properly letters and hideous pearl earrings? Crabboring tedious life more like. Are you going to be at the Barclays Champagne reception? I might pop in, but I'll be quite tight out here. Okay, well, I'll I'll see you later. We're talking about property letters notes. Growth ones too. I'm missing the gene which makes you grow up and buy a flat in Statham and start visiting home base every weekend. Everybody's moving on without me into a world I don't understand. Bear with me a moment. Rebecca, Rebecca is here. Someone will be here soon. Meantime, can I give you some, some champagne? Yes, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you could make it. Hi. I just wanted to. Yes. Well, I, I can't talk. I've got to mingle. I'm here for work. You know. Well. Bye. I can't see anyone that I recognize. It's all just groups of bank type people, laughing loudly and talking about golf. God, this is embarrassing. We all seem really tall and broad shoulders, and I can't even catch anyone's eye. I feel like a six-year-old at a grown-up's party. Oh god, quick. I've got to find somebody to talk to. Right. How about these two people there? The woman's middle-aged and the other one's quite a lot younger. They don't look as if they know too many people here. I, I'll just ask them if they're enjoying this fair and if they find it useful. And, I, and I'll pretend I'm writing notes in my notebook. Hi there, Rebecca Bowman, successful saving. Hello, Diana Smith from Edwidge Bank, and this is my assistant, Erica. Hi, I'm Erica Parlo. Yes, it's hi. Are you a journalist then? Yes. Your name seems quite familiar. Yes, you, you may have read some of my articles. I expect I have. We all get the financial max in the office. Go ahead with some of them. Yes, we do really. We get to know all the areas of personal finance, from banking to unit trust to life insurance. And how do you accrue all this knowledge? We just pick it up along the way. I often thought that they should do a flag the wall document about the bank. Good, yeah, that sounds fascinating. You should see some of the characters we get in. People have no idea about their finances, either. You would be amazed, utterly amazed, the leader people come to the bank only to talk with us. Really? I sometimes wonder. Rebecca! Hi, marketing stopped the meeting. How's it going? Oh, great. This is Diana and Erica. This is my editor, Philip Page. And which bank? Uh, <coughs> you must know Martin Collinger then. We're not head of this, I'm afraid, but I am the manager of the Fulham bench. Fulham? Trendy Fulham. And suddenly, a warning bell goes off in my head. Don, don, don. I've got to say something. Change the subject, but it's too late now. I'm the spectator on the mountain. I'm watching the two trains collide in the valley below. Rebecca lives in Fulham. Who do you bank with Rebecca? You are probably one of Diana's customers. Rebecca Blower. I thought I knew that. Did I not burn you with Rebecca? That's clever. How did you know that? So you do. Yes. 
Then I realized who this is. This is Rebecca Blumut, one of our customers. I think I spoke to her the other day. Well, there's a coincidence. More champagne, anyone? Here. Thank you. Rebecca Blumwood? I don't believe it. Yes. <laughs> it's a small world. Well, I've got to go to interview some more. Wait, we were actually hoping to have a meeting with you, Rebecca, weren't we, Dana? Indeed we were. This is assuming your legs are both intact and you aren't suffering from any treater. Lordy. What's this? How's the leg, by the way? Oh, fine. Fine, thanks. <laughs> Good. So, we'll see you at Monday 9.30, shall we? Uh, you don't mind if Rebecca joins us of Monday morning? Of course not. And if she doesn't turn up, we all know where she is, won't we? Rebecca will turn up. Well, I look forward to seeing you. And if I remember correctly from our phone conversation, the other day you'll be coming into some pounds by them. I thought he had forgotten about that. That's right, absolutely, my aunt's money. Well, remember, uh, my aunt left me some money recently. Uh, then I expect you on Monday. Good, I'm looking forward to it already.